Sorry, Alright guys, I'm sorry about the glare, but uh, I just wanted to show you a couple things. Uh, this is Kiss Slicer. Uh, this is basically the program that slices uh, all of our models into layers so that it can be processed uh, into G-code. Um, and what you do is you set up all your uh, all your settings down here. Um, and the thing of note with uh, the COSL is that in order to do the auto level procedure you uh, you send it the G-code T28 and G29Z1 and what this does is it homes it, tells it it's home and then it finds the bottom point and sets the Z axis, uh, axis bottom to uh, whatever the probe came up with. I also had to add another line here, um, M109S240. What this does is this waits until it reaches the temperature 240 degrees and then it begins uh, doing the sequence. So before it wasn't hot enough, uh, it wasn't waiting until it, it, it properly heated up. Uh, so I had to add this little extra code and all you do is you open an STL and then you slice it and save it and then you open up your proner face. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up the uh, G code for the uh, wait I'm sorry give me just a second I don't think I saved it save so yeah you have to save it first uh, I'll go ahead and save it over the old one um, I don't know if you saw that there but it went through the layers and did all those so now I'm gonna go ahead and load up the G code um, all right, I have loaded up the G, up the uh, file G code. I'm gonna go ahead and connect to the printer. And when I start printing, you'll see that it'll go and do the homing procedure, and then it will start probing the bed, and then it will start printing. Hey, bed! You see right here, it's retracting the probe and now it's heading down to the print bed to start printing. Bed! And what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, set you up here and let you watch the whole thing in its entirety. Uh, if I can get it set up to uh, that height. Probably should have cleaned this off first, right? And that last uh, move was it retracting the uh, the uh, Z probe, and now what it's going to do is, uh, like I told you, it will wait until it reaches the target temperature. And you can see over here, if I make this big, so you can see it, uh, you'll see this is our temperature here, and uh, our target is much higher. Um, as you can see, it's climbing. Um, you see the small one down here where the scale is different you can actually see both of them um, as you can see temperature is climbing uh, we're getting up to melting temperature and what I'm gonna have to do is since this isn't really um, there's a couple more pieces of uh, uh, G code that I need to add to the beginning and end of this so that it pulls out the filament uh, so that it doesn't dribble during this part uh, you'll notice that uh, I have to pull off a couple strands as it starts to get up to temperature it will begin uh, extruding just by gravity um, you see right there the small amount of filament coming out and I like to pull that off if you hold on to it and eh, slightly below it will solidify as um, as it comes out and so once it starts to once it actually gets up the temperature it'll move and rip this piece out for me so this is how I'm doing this right now uh, like I said a better way would be to pull the filament back a little bit after print uh, and then uh, 
go back forward as you begin the print. Um, still getting pretty close, and there she goes. And so now what it'll do is it will print uh, the perimeter of whatever you're printing. This sort of helps get it primed. <clears throat> um, and I don't know if you can see the perimeter over here on this edge is, um, well there's a lot of reflections, but the perimeter over here on this edge is much thicker as the, the prime actually has gotten uh, gone through, but I'll just let you uh, sit here and watch this, and uh, and I'll speed it up hopefully.